You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Uh, why are older people more prone to cancer? Right, that's a good question. Um, so as we age, uh, we have we our DNA is arranged in packets um, called chromosomes, and uh, these chromosomes are are basically just a structural way of organizing the DNA and the genes that we have. We have different um, genes and different chromosomes, and then at, at the cap of these chromosomes is a, uh, a a set of base pairs called a telomere, and the telomere acts as kind of a protective cap. It's kind of, you know, when you have a key and you have a little rubber ring around the key to protect it from wearing out, um, you know, it's that sort of thing. It's a protective cap. And so as we age, um, these telomeres actually wear down. Oh. And so we start seeing the loss of genes that are in the areas of these telomeres. And those are typically genes involved with, um, you know, skin elasticity and, uh, um, you know, bone maintenance and things like that. So. So we start; those genes start those getting damaged. Those signs of aging the that we're of all aging, familiar yeah, with. They're based on, yes. on the wearing away of the telomeres. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a process um, called telomerase. It's an enzyme that rebuilds the telomeres every time a cell uh, reproduces itself. Um, and cancer cells have an active telomerase. Interesting, mice have an active telomerase too. Hmm. Um, so mice. So um, the the telomere and the telomerase process is one of the required elements. For cancer development, oh. so in cancer you need um, you need four signaling pathways to be altered um, for a normal cell to turn into a, a cancerous cell, mm. and the telomerase pathway is one of those. It's a fundamental pathway that is required mm. for a cell to become a tumor. Okay, and as we get older, that degenerates. No, uh, this oh. is the enzyme, the telomerase. The telomerase repairs the telomeres. Oh. Okay. So that's so. What happens is it's only supposed to be turned turned on briefly when we're young, and um, in cancer cells they have a telomerase that is active all of the time, mm -hmm. and um, that's why cancer cells can live forever. Right. That's why they're so ageless. They, because so it's the telomerase, telomerase enzyme, enzyme that yes. keeps them forever young. Yes, I see. And uh, and interesting, but but it's different in every species. So in mice, mice have an active telomerase, mm. and so they only require three signaling pathways to be mutated for them to be uh, for a normal cell to become cancerous. Mm. Um, which is why I don't really agree with a lot of the studies in mice. Um, when I see studies in mice, I think, okay, well, that's they not just translate. Same. It doesn't translate well to humans. Mm -hmm. you know? mm. So um, there's been a lot of uh, research on. Um, activating telomerase, but typically that just gives you cancer. Right, that's so, yeah, the fountain of youth. <laughs> fountain of youth right. is cancer. We're giving your cancer cells eternal life, but well, not you. The fountain of youth, the uh, cancer cells have realized the fountain of youth. Yes. They don't yeah. die, they don't age. How ironic is that? Yes, exactly. Well, yeah. that's why we can learn so much from cancer. Mm -hmm. So that, so is that the extent of the answer, these te telomerase? Yes, okay, that's, that's what we know. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's many factors, but um, that's sure. the main mechanism driving right. aging yeah. and, and, and certainly... driving, driving cancer in older people. Okay, so right, so it so if somebody is getting on in years, then there is that natural process that they can, we can't at this point influence. Right. Correct. Okay, yes. but then there's also again lifestyle factors mm -hmm. and things like that that mm -hmm. can make a big difference mm -hmm. as well. How yes. you eat, how you exercise, well, and well, one of the things that's fundamental in in aging and cancer is um, all of our cells have a pre-set lifespan. Um, that means how many times they can copy before um, they die. And that is referred to as a Hayflick number. Mm -hmm. So every cell has a different Hayflick number. And mm -hmm. basically Hayflick number is just how many times your cell can copy itself before it's programmed to die. Mm -hmm. And so once you start reaching the end of that Hayflick number, um, you start getting damage to the cell and, um, you know, after a while it just stops being able to reproduce. And that's where we start to see a number of different age-related illnesses. Right. Mm. So th what that means is that um, if you have less turnover of your cells, then you're, they're obviously going to live longer. 
You understand what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so what you want to do is you want to do behaviors that reduce damage to your cells so it doesn't have to copy itself mm -hmm. many times because it has a it has a limited ability in copying mm -hmm. itself. Right. So when you smoke, you cause damage to cells mm -hmm. and those cells instantly have to copy themselves. Mm -hmm. Whenever you do any sort of environmental hazard, you, you create damage to your cells mm -hmm. and those cells have to copy themselves and replace them. Mm -hmm. And as you're doing that, you're basically eating through your hay flip number. Right. So, Interesting. so the slower your metabolism is, the less the less you have to copy your cells, the longer you live. That makes sense. So that's you know obviously practicing good self care, getting good yes. sleep, eating well, exactly. ex exercising in certain ways, and not not taxing right. yourself too much. And stress is a depletion yeah. as well. Yes. So that starts to make more sense why all of those things are factors in the development of cancer or the prevention of cancer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.